Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can add more than one link to your bio profile links. So whether that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, we're going to show you how you can create a mini website, basically, but within Canva. For those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative. So if you want to learn more things about Canva, don't forget to click like, click subscribe down below. But let's get on to today's tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create this mini website for your social media bio links. Um, let's dive in. So this is the one that I've created. I'm just going to minimize that from the size. This is the one that I've created and you can even have multiple pages. This is just a template that uh, it, I, I've put on as a second page so you can have multiple pages and there's different styles of websites that you can create as well but I'm going to show you how to do it so let's dive in and have a look at that so if we come back to the home page we're going to click on Instagram story and I'm just going to create a blank template I'm going to be refer referring back to what I've created here but this is a blank template. And what we first want to do is we want to figure out how many links we want. So on this one, I've got one, two, three, four, five links with also links to my other social media here. And I'm going to show you how you can link all these. So when you come in, you just come in, create your elements. So the top, what I've got here is I've got like a paintbrush effect that I went for. So I just went to the elements area and I searched for paint brush. We're going to go with that one for now. And you can just come in, change the color, add on your text. I just wanted to add in Darren Meredith, shrink that down. And if you grab the corner, you can resize that up. So there we go. That's where I just grabbed a paintbrush effect and there are other elements that you can probably look in here if I type in paintbrush effect no nope, that's given me some very strange looking paintbrushes and really oh we're gonna have some fun with this in a future video I think and the next thing what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come to the elements and in order to create the outline blocks um, actually, I've just created, this is just simple text, so I'm going to copy and paste that over. You can do that if you see a design of, if you see an element on a design that you like, you can just literally just copy and paste it, which is Command C, Command V on a Mac, or what is it, Control C, Control V on a Windows machine? It's been so long since I've used a Windows machine, I'm not sure. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create the blocks and you can get as creative as you want with these. I've gone for a fairly simple kind of look and feel here. So if we come to the blocks, I wanted one that's got a little bit of like rounded corners and you can just move those up, move those across and design. What I'd say is design and do this. The first one, however you want, however you want it designed. If you want to add a shadow effect, you could control and paste that. Come up to here, click on your color, click on new color. And if you want it to be slightly darker, you could just darken that down. And then if you wanted to, you can move that to the back. And that gives you a bit of a shadow effect. And just to refine it, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And that just gives you that kind of more refinement because if you try and move it around with the mouse it kind of tends to snap so if you want you can just refine that so we've got a little bit of a shadow there and then what I could want to do is probably group these images so that they're, they're not going to that background's not going to move around and I'm not going to get frustrated with that moving around and once I'm happy with that what I can do is just click copy and paste paste the next one on and it does depend on how many that you want. When you've got them all selected, you can come to position and you can click on this option here that's called tidy up. And that'll just align them all up. 
and what have you. If you then click group, that then groups those. And if you wanted to, you can then move. Oops. Did I not group those? Ah. Group. There you go. So I've grouped those. And now I can do make sure that they're in the center of the page. So there you go. If you tend to then, if you then wanted them in the middle, you can do. If you do the options there without grouping them, it'll just smush all those up together and kind of make them overlap. So, but that's put those in the middle. So on the first one, I want to link to my YouTube channel where you're watching right now. And if you're enjoying this tutorial, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing down below helps me create more videos the more people that like this and if there's something that you want to do in canva then come back to this video or any of my videos and ask the question it doesn't have to be related to that particular video ask me a question on any of my videos and i'll be more than happy to try and help you out with whatever questions you've got in canva or content creation so the first next one what, what we want to do is we want to try and find a youtube link so the one I went for was this one here. I kind of liked it and preferred this one. And I'm just going to do position and I'm going to do center. And I can't do middle on that one because it will just take it to the middle of the page. So there you go. That's my YouTube link. And then all we do in order to be able to add a link to this is I'd go to my... YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Darren M. Copy that link so I can command C, command Good morning, C. good evening, good night, wherever you are. Oh, video started in the background. So control copy, control paste is what we're going to do next. And we're going to do that by clicking on this little icon up here. And if you hover over it, it says link. And you can either type in or paste in the link. And there you go. That's that will now, once we've saved and exported this as a website, which I'm going to show you how to do shortly. And there's a few different options that you can do when you come to export it as a website. So it's up to you what you want to do as these with these other links. So on there, you could link to a um, your you could have just separate links to Instagram if you wanted. Um, you know, this is it, it depends because it depends on whether you want to use this just on your Instagram. You could use this link on all of your bios. You could link it to your your Facebook. Um, and you can just resize these as you wanted. And if you wanted to, you could come over and I think it's in my folders. I've got my um, logos. Where are they? Ah, oh, logos. Here we go. So I've got my vlogging gear logo or just Darren Meredith. So it's up to you what you want to put on here. I could put my Wales Tourist one on there if I wanted to. I have multiple websites. And you can make these smaller if you wanted to. I like to keep them large like this. And you can design this however you design anything in Canva. You can literally just design it and all you have to do is highlight the one you want to do and add a link so that one would be instagram uh, facebook and that would be my wales tourist website that i'm working on at the moment now once you've got all those as i say if you wanted to you can either click duplicate page and that will then give you the same layout and you can change these so they can then be it's the same page um, however, if you wanted to, you can just come over here and I'm just going to show you by just grabbing a, a, a template. Uh, let's have a look. Bonfire night. Bonfire night. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't have bonfire nights. Let's just choose this one. This is just a template. So you could be doing a particular live stream or anything else like that. And you can move these around. Once this goes live, this website, you can edit it in the background. You don't have to come in, create a new one, create a new link. If you edit something on this, 
then that's that's what shows on your bio and i'm going to show you that let's say we wanted this so we want people that are clicking on our link at the moment to be aware that we're going to live stream on the 31st of october um at this really great site so click on the three dots up here and we want to share this creation that we've done here so if we click on the three dots here at the side you'll notice one of the options is website and if your menu looks a little bit different just click show more and then that will drop down your menu if you click on websites that then gives you a couple of different options now the presentation option will be kind of it kind of scrolls left to right you can see it here it gives you a demonstration it's scrolling left to right and people would have to scroll that way however that's not how we work with websites how we work with websites is scrolling and you can also have a classic navigation so if you wanted different menus and show an actual website you can do that and a single page website with a navigation bar across the top so these are all the different options that you can have i'm not going to show you them all you can you can have a play about with this i'm going to show you scrolling we're going to click open website and then there you go this is what people will now see when they come to that website so all you do is you take the url up here copy that url and paste that into your instagram there's a couple of things that you'll want to do so thank you very much for sticking around really appreciate you watching these tutorials now when someone clicks on your tutorial it's going to display something at the top and what you put here where i've got my name what you put there is what will be displayed at the top of the website so that's one thing that you're going to want to make sure you change if you have a website you can use a redirection service so you could use something like bitly or anything else like that so you could have bit.ly forward slash your site name or your name or whatever you wanted on that and that's a way around having to deal with or having to you know you don't have to remember this really long canva url um but yeah that's that's what we've got into today's video it's a really great opportunity to share people share multiple links with people um on there the other thing that you can do, I forgot to mention on the one that I did, is I also, so I've got different links to, so if you want to try out a Canva and you've not used Canva before, you can just come through to my website. I'll put a link down below in the description for you to try Canva. It's free for 30 days on the pro features. Um, if you want to then upgrade, you can do. Otherwise, you can just use Canva free options and you can still do this as far as I'm aware on the free options. So if you click on that link down there, I really appreciate it. And as I say, the other thing I did is just I put my social media links on here and you just highlight them and you, as I say, click on the link option here. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. It's been wonderful spending some time with you today. Don't forget to click like, click subscribe and also pop that notification bell on. Most of you won't subscribe to this channel, but the more and more of you that do, the more and more tutorials I'll be able to create. Until next time, bye for now.